from Wisconsin is on the way to Texas. Lauren Winfrey spoke with a Red Cross volunteer who boarded a flight today. She's live at Mitchell International with that story. Lauren. Tom and Katie, when we first met that volunteer, Tom Poe, he was down here checking in. He then went upstairs to board his plane, and he says he had one thing on his mind, helping others. One backpack and one large suitcase. Modest travel baggage, almost as unassuming as the man carrying the bags. My own concern is helping people. That's why 78-year-old Tom Poe, a local Red Cross responder from Burlington, is traveling south. He's headed to Houston to help with Hurricane Harvey relief efforts, even though he and folks in his hometown recently experienced damaging flooding of their own, where Poe did what he does best, help others. I just got through working my own floods. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, we were working shelters. I worked shelters in Burlington, then they transferred me over to Summers. Poe says he was in Houston last year when there was flooding and he was also there nine years ago during Hurricane Ike. But the impact of Hurricane Harvey is in a class of its own. It's considered the fiercest hurricane to hit the U.S. in more than a decade. Yet Poe still is navigating his way through the airport to get to Texas, and he's completely undeterred. The main thing is you're helping people, and you have to look at it that way. Otherwise, it, it's, you can't handle stuff like that. And Poe will join dozens of other Red Cross responders in Houston. 34 have been deployed so far, and the Red Cross says as soon as the storm passes and the airports are back to normal, they anticipate sending many more people down there to help where they can. Reporting at Mitchell International, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. All right, Lauren, we are thankful for him. Thank you.